Oh, girl. Jim Bunny Glenn here. This episode of Girl is brought to you by Friend of Dorothy, where gay male sexual wellness and personal care starts. They provide high quality natural dietary supplements, and from tops to bottoms, They've got you covered. They've recently introduced more products to their range that I am so excited about, such as the Cum Gummies. Something sweet to make something salty. (laughs) Go over to Friend of Dorothy on Instagram or search Friend of Dorothy store. And don't forget to use the code GIRL15 at the checkout for 15% off your purchase. That is G-U-R-L 15 for 15% off your purchase. Now, Val, hit the decks. regular read of the latest LGBT plus trends, TV, and the ever-expanding world of drag. Hello there, I'm the Velvet Snatch, and welcome to this, the penultimate episode of season four of Girl. As usual, I'm joined by, and I'm going to mix it up this time, Jim Bunny Glenn. How are you doing, my dear? Yay, I came first. I never come first. <laughs> I, I have heard differently to that. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on the supplements, I guess. <laughs> oh, is it foreshadowing? <laughs> right in there. And of course, a thotter stew. Aye, well, they do say nice guys finish last, so that's why you went for him first, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> We're in this already, okay. Now, we have a very interesting episode lined up today. Today, we are... Uh, we are joined by two beautiful, handsome, handsome fellows. We're joined by the wonderful Hunter Emborski and Derek Robinson, who are here to talk about their wonderful social media presence and also some other little things. How are you doing, my dears? Very good. We are currently in downtown Atlanta. We uh, got back from an event last night. We saw actually a lot of people from Instagram last night. It's really fun to go to those events, so... Can you tell us what the event was? Barracuda at the Heretic. And uh, it's a leather bar. It was very fun. There's a lot of people there. (laughs) Um, Though they didn't have any go-go dancers last night. I wish they did. Well, I I think to be fair, when everyone there is like from Instagram, they're kind of like, uh, were they trying to get you up on the tables? Were they just like, hey, trying to lure you up on the bar? Being like... (laughs) The 12th shot, I became the go-go dancer. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's oh, it. Yeah. They're trying to cut corners. That's that's what they're doing here. We can see through this this evil plan. So so how's life treating you lately? Pretty amazing. Um, I think our, our lease is ending in our apartment. We're looking to buy a house here soon. So life is kind of really starting. We're uh, you know gaining more and more social media presence by the day. Every time we go to an event, we meet new people and see like a bunch of our followers and it's such a blast it's a blessing because this is i'm not used to this you know like this has completely changed my life it's could change derek's life and it's absolutely amazing to be able to do stuff like this and meet people because i wouldn't i wouldn't be able to otherwise so no that's fine i mean can you tell us a little bit uh more about uh yourselves for the listeners who don't know who you are yet yeah um I'm a Navy brat. My dad was in the Navy, so I've lived all over the United States, uh, Seattle, Virginia, Georgia, Florida. So I, uh, I'm i 21, so I am young. I'm a young buck. So uh, a lot of people get thrown off by that. Um, I did sports when I was in high school, but I didn't start lifting weights until I was about 18. So I've been lifting for like three years now. Mm-hmm. And that's completely changed my life. Every day I, I go to the gym and it's part of it's part of my job now because the better I look, the more presence I get online and the easier it is for me to get on the algorithm on the explore page. You know, yeah. I'm gay. If you didn't know, <laughs> I like boys. <laughs> I quite like that. It's like, I'm gay that I, I like boys. <laughs> yeah, right. Just in case we didn't podcast. know. Like, me and, uh, sorry, me and we'll have to end it now. No more yeah, right. I'm I'm intensely homophobic. I will just put that out there. Yeah, right. Yeah, hides the flag in the background. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> well, to be fair, Stu's Steve, got the pride flag. He's blurred it in the background because he's you know yeah, like, right. homophobic it and censored. Our actually our one year anniversary when we got engaged 
was a couple days ago. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Yeah. Wow. So we've been engaged for a year. Soon to be married. Not too soon, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's settle a bit. Like, enjoy the yeah, engagement right? first, you know. Yeah, exactly, exactly. No. Now, Dad. I've got a new lease to put my makeup on yet, so. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Now, Derek, you're both very sex positive people. Have you always been this way? Pretty much. Yeah. So actually, I'd say before I met Derek, Derek was my second boyfriend. I was a little bit more reserved in the sex life. I because I pretty much came out and then boom, I had an OnlyFans like right after I came <laughs> out. So I like swung right out the closet. Like I will say OnlyFans and Derek has helped me open up a lot. And realize that not all relationships are the same and not all sex is the same. And yeah, so I think it's been a very positive experience for me because I was so reserved and I I did have that like where I come from, like I didn't no no one in my family's gay. So mm. oh, I only had the, you know, the, the husband and wife, you know. Yeah. That's it. So being able to meet Derek and have him be a little bit older than me and have a little bit more experience he knows what is actually best for a relationship and mm. you know like how sex works in a relationship <laughs> you know i love the idea of just like sitting you down and just being like okay birds and the this bees is, but these the are birds and the bees yeah <laughs> that's it well, I mean, that's the thing, though, which you get in like sort of uh, heavily religious places where they're just like, oh, but how did they find out about being gay? How did where did they learn it from? And you're like, uh, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> you know, it's yeah, exactly. Church camp. Or exactly. Mm. Well, Derek's from like small town Mississippi. So he is like literally he was the only gay man in his town. The only <laughs> outwardly gay, but they're yeah. all married with children. So. Yeah, that, that's the thing. It doesn't mean you're the only one just because you're the only yeah, one that's exactly. out, you know. Yeah. If you open up Grindr, there's a lot of blank profiles, but they yeah, are all nearby. Like, oh, <laughs> dad one, dad two, daddy three. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of daddies. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like my uh, my contact list, to be fair. Yeah, <laughs> too. I always say, whenever I meet a new gay, I always put daddy and then their name, their first name. So I have a bunch <laughs> of daddies in my list. <laughs> Didn't you change that after dad said, stop sending me nudes? <laughs> <laughs> then he changed it again when he said, keep sending them. Well, I haven't yeah. done that yet. <laughs> is, there, is there some kind of hierarchy for daddies? Like, do you have to keep changing them? Because what if daddy four comes along and just goes, hang on, hang on, shouldn't I be daddy one? Or daddy, maybe, <laughs> do you make them fight to the death or something? Or is there some kind of... There's, there's this whole reward system. They have to, like, punch a card. You have, it's really <laughs> meticulous. You have to keep up with it. So if you're not, if you're not an organized person... <laughs> Basically, the Hunger Gears. Are we doing Hunger Gears now? Is there yeah. <laughs> oh I like that. Me and Derek want to see that so bad. <laughs> I, I, what the actual movie or, or doing a gear version of it? Uh, maybe both. <laughs> <laughs> you you could call it the Hungry we'll make, we'll Gays, make some fun. but uh, yeah, the Hungry I mean, Gays <laughs> makes a change from the thirsty ones. <laughs> yeah, Hunger would rule the thirsty. The cornucopia is just a bunch of like dildos. <laughs> wow. <laughs> The different mean, districts, different fetishes. I think we've got something there. I mean, wow, yeah. porn just writes itself. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> Speaking of that subject, obviously you guys have an OnlyFans together um, and obviously very outspoken out on social media. How did that sort of, you know, push your relationship together further and sort of where did the discussion come from? Well, I had it before we got together. Um, so I was I was cruising through that, like, uh, experience solo and when I met him I told him I said you know like you don't have to do this um I could just like switch to solo content like you don't have to be in my videos it's not required but he was like oh no I want to do it so we made him his own only fans and we have a couples and working together two people it's m much easier to make content so I feel like after um, like working together, we hit like a, a huge growth spurt because people, they don't get to see um, relationships with gay men on our TVs, you know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, the sex sells, but people really crave the intimacy between two men. And 
Like that's something that we've shared. We just share that with our followers and it resonates. It's like I said, they don't get to see that often. It's worked out. We're really happy with it. And I will say being an OnlyFans creator, like having a partner is so much easier, obviously, because you don't have to like, you know, schedule, you know, bookings or yeah. like collaborate things it's not like we can make content anywhere and i i feel like for us it is like we are really blessed to have each other to make content because it is actually a huge struggle that i uh, hear about with a lot of twitter guys and only fans creators that mm. just trying to collab is just absolutely horrendous sometimes <laughs> i mean to be fair the diary must look really interesting where it's like monday get fucked tuesday get fucked wednesday yeah. get fucked you know you just sitting there be like wow it, it literally sounds like my conversations with my boss at work i i i like the fact of you being a couple because also it's the fact of it's someone else to hold the camera really because i think a lot of people seem to be yeah. like, oh, right, okay. How do you frame it's this one? It's, it's, it can get really uh, tricky. Yeah, holding a camera during sex is not fun. Slip <laughs> right out of your hand. That's whenever the shoot ends. Like, if it just slips out of your hand at the moment, <laughs> my, my followers be like, why, didn't, why did the video stop here? Because it slid across the damn shower. Like, <laughs> yeah. it didn't get hit. We're in the moment. We weren't stopping. So. I think that might be my favorite quote of the day. I think, in related to if it just slips out your hand. <laughs> well, here we go. That's a, that's a wrap. <laughs> that's uh, so you both have solo accounts as well. Do you find that you get more specifically catered requests um, through them for content? Yeah, for sure. My uh, my my solo account, I get a lot of foot requests, like more feet content and stuff, which, hell yeah, like, that's like <laughs> so easy to do. I love doing that. But um, I get a lot of, but it's funny because I'll get people on my solo page and it says solo page at the top and they're like, where's the videos of you having sex? I'm like, oh, well, you have to go to this account to yeah. go see that. Stuff. So, Double subscription. Yeah, so, yeah, so mm -hmm. it not only works out in that aspect, but we do have multiple streams of income because of the multiple accounts. And that's like a huge blessing and something that from the start we've had and has worked out for us. They all want my underwear for whatever reason. That's so it. They all want me to like wear underwear for them and uh, send it to them. Like so, some people pay like up to like five hundred bucks. I've sold underwear. Like Bloody I hell. literally sold my underwear drawer out of existence. I had to go buy more underwear. And the lady at the post office, I eventually stopped doing it because <laughs> she would just give me this look when I come in, and I'm like, she's just. <laughs> Staring at me with like steak eyes. She's like, here's this guy coming. She said, What are we sending again? I'm like, clothing. She goes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, she she's she's the one ordering it all and she's like, Can you just slip it under the desk? Like, do we do we have to stop with this postage thing? But <laughs> I, mean, I would have been like, I sew for a little, I, I have a sewing machine. I actually make clothes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. And some that's underwear. The orphans. <laughs> <laughs> for the orphans. I'm... Really layer on the guilt with her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I just... I, I can't believe like I didn't this is one of these things where innocently I didn't realize that it was a thing that it was so popular for people to sell underwear and like socks and stuff like for oh, on the internet it's crazy but I'm like yeah if people are into it then you know make a buck which it works out for me because I'm basically I'm like okay I'll get a free uh, or not a free I'll get a brand new pair of underwear I'll just give <laughs> yeah. you mine you know mm -hmm. unless it's like boxers I really like but still I can just get some more so <laughs> I, li I like the idea out. I like the idea of Derek just being like, oh, no, I've actually run out of underwear. Oh, well. Yeah. And just wafting himself with like a wad of cash being like, oh, no, oh, no. no underwear for me today. It's interesting because I've actually seen a creator who um, started a vintage page. <laughs> um, I don't know if you have that over in America, but it's like a, a secondhand clothes app. Um, oh. So it's a bit like eBay, but just for clothes. Anyway, then, uh, yeah, he started a vintage page and then had all of his underwear on, seeing used. And then after that, in the description, it just said, additional requests please email <laughs> and i was like that's clever that is a loaded that's statement <laughs> well, actually what? wait that, that that was a slip of the tongue actually well um <laughs> i'm just digging myself deeper here <laughs> oh god <laughs> right sorry okay but what so speaking of which what do you most enjoy as well being adult content creators like is it is it fun or does it make sort of sex feel like a job i, I always wonder about that 
oh well, it's got little, to create some content. It's definitely a little bit of both. Mm. I would say time, sex is a job, but it's never like you know something you don't want to do. But it's just <laughs> uh, you know holding a camera is awkward sometimes, yeah. or setting it up can get like yeah, you know, like work, like putting all like the you're in the mood, and then you have to stop what you're doing to like set up a camera yeah. or make sure the lighting's good. So <laughs> it can get a little like tricky with that. But like I said, if you get in that moment, and obviously the sex comes first, so. Mm. If it if it doesn't end up being posted, that's fine. But it'll just become like okay, that was a that was a that was a, we need another take on that. But, but yeah, there's definitely times I'm like, oh, that's not the angle we need. <laughs> just power through. Yeah. But then you'll like through it, and you'll like get to the end, and the whole phone wasn't recording the yeah. whole time. Oh. You're like, ah, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> We've done that a few times. I was Wait. doing the Now, I'll say the, uh, the hardest part is doing lives because see, I'm, I'm like a very like stimulant guy. So for me to like can stay hard, I have to either be like in the moment or be mm. watching like a video. So like doing the lives is really hard because I'm not watching anything. Because yeah. uh, I never really thought of like putting porn on the TV. But yeah, so, so I'm like sitting there like jerking off and I'm starting to go soft. And I'm like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that's it. I think the simple thing there is have another phone or something and have it behind exactly. the camera yeah. or something. Or or have Derek in the background behind the camera just doing a sexy dance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. It'd just be like, oh, God, dance with me. I'd probably have the opposite, opposite response. <laughs> He'd be like, what are you doing back there? Are you having a seizure? <laughs> <laughs> that might be his kink. We never know, okay? That's... You just no, need to put a 14 though, shot. Like, Derek dances naked in front of me like all the time. He'll just <laughs> randomly come and start dancing naked. And that's okay as long as he's not on TikTok Live, which has happened before. I've been on Twitch too. I was streaming on Twitch and he comes in the background naked. I'm like, oh my, you need a red light, bro. Like, let me know. <laughs> yeah, from me. A little on air light. On air, yeah. <laughs> I put it on the house. Amazon wish list. There we go. There's a, there's a request yeah. for followers. Yeah, we need, I need, to we get need an on-air light. I have to say that is one of my favorite things on Twitch when someone's partner just comes into the room totally ignoring <laughs> the fact so they're streaming awesome. and just chats to them about personal stuff and you just like, you know, <laughs> just, you know, they are on camera. You, you know, it's... <laughs> I usually just bust in and start feeding him. Yeah, yeah. That's that's it, yeah. <laughs> Doing the aeroplane thing while he's playing games. <laughs> Hey, some of those times, like something that you would assume was a blooper, like, and we don't post it. And then someday, like, I'll find it. Like, I'll have like a slow day where I don't feel like filming anything. Mm. And I'll end up posting it and it'll get millions of views. And I'm like, this is crazy. I've had this in my phone for this long. And you mean to tell me it's getting this response whenever, like, at first I was like, oh, no, I can't post that. I'm not from that angle or whatever. But like I said, you never know what content is going to resonate with people. You know what I'm saying? It's like you can post the same content over and over, but like change the caption or change like the, the sound that goes with it. And it can completely like skyrocket or flop. You know what I'm saying? But you use the same content five times. And one of those times it's going to catch traction. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so you never know what to expect, really. Yeah, it really are the most unexpected videos. Like, the belly rubbing videos, like, I would never have expected those to go, like, so crazy, but people like, absolutely, like, crave it so much, so well, they try and do a bunch of free content. Well, that's the wonderful thing about people and about porn is the fact of going, like, if you're not into it, it's hard to understand that other people are into it, but it's like this, exactly. you know, like, like, for instance, like, I'm the same as you, like, I don't get feet i don't really get belly rubbing but there's gonna be people out there who out well there are people out there who absolutely love it and you're like yeah more power to you really you know exactly are people like ride in and like ask for like a certain thing and even though i'm not into that myself hey when you press the camera i'm gonna try to <laughs> pretend like i am so they fill it for for the while, but like you said, like whatever works. Like if if someone messages me and and like asks me if I wear panties, like I'm like, oh <laughs> no, not really. But like, do you want me to? They're like, well, <laughs> pictures of panties are five hundred dollars. I wear panties now. Okay, yeah. I do that. I do that now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. I think this leads on to the question though of what is the strangest thing either of you have been asked for so far? Oh, um, oh, some guy like made like I was supposed to be like pretending to be a sleep <laughs> and like to be a what? He, he had a kink where he, you know, the Jungle Book where the snake hypnotizes um, Mowgli. Oh yeah, like okay. so that. So he wanted me to hypnotize Hunter 
like and like look at each other but like yeah. not say anything and just like have him like pretend like he's falling asleep or being hypnotized so we're making this video like trying not to die oh my gosh because it was, <laughs> it was so, so hard. hard and we had to have five minutes of this so we're like <laughs> we're like oh my god as soon as we pressed stop like we both rolled off the bed just dying oh it was, it was, that was really hard we took we we i think we <laughs> re uh filmed that like five times it was so hard because we just kept laughing, like yeah. I don't know. I think it's that thing. It's like when it's someone that you you're working with, someone you know and you love, and you know that you know you can have a laugh. It's like going like, "What are we doing? What is this?" Yeah, <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. No, I was like, I was like, I can't believe we're doing this right now. He was like, "Shut up!" <laughs> I was like, "Shut up!" Let's press the play. Because <laughs> once I start laughing, I'm not gonna stop. Like I'll have a complete giggle fit. <laughs> oh my, funny. All right, my loves, I'm Candy Snatch, and I want to tell you about my new favourite thing, cum. Yeah, for your mouth, innit? These new supplements from Friend of Dorothy are called cum and can turn your downstairs love pistol into a fireman's hose. But don't take more than two a day or it'll blow your cock off. So go on, get some cum in your mouth. Check out their web store today by searching for Friend of Dorothy store and use the code GIRL15. That's G-U-R-L-1-5 for 15% off selected products. I'm Candy Snatch and I'm a friend of Dorothy. So on the subject of sex, you've done a collaboration with a friend of Dorothy recently. How have you been finding the products? Absolutely amazing. Um, the, uh, the Come Harder pills worked a lot for like at least like two, i think it was like two weeks two three weeks after i took them like every every single load i shot was like a huge load and they would be i mean i'm 21 so you know you know how fast <laughs> it comes back but you can jerk off again so every time i was jerking off i was shooting loads and that doesn't happen i always shoot blanks like after the second one you know or the first one mm. so like i was like really surprised at that i was like look Derek. <laughs> Look what I'm still coming. <laughs> I love this one. And he just sat there at work and you're just like just looking over and you're just full bukake face. Just <laughs> Yeah, I actually posted the proof that those pills work on Twitter. I was very excited. I was like, look how wide it is. <laughs> yeah, I was in the shower and I think I was like standing like all the way on the other wall and I shot and it hit the entire opposite wall in the shower. I was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Did they send you the water bottles as well? Yeah, it's like a sniper. <laughs> did you, did you, have you have you been taking the lovely? Did you get the? Was it like the top, bottom, or verse water bottle that you got sent? Yeah, the verse. I think I got the verse water bottle. They're I bring, us yeah. bring it to the gym a lot so that like the yeah. deal adds just now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you find that people look at it and go, "Oh, okay." <laughs> yeah, definitely. Because we have like an apartment gym, so like it's. I mean, everybody's like right next to each other when they're working out, so. You can't miss it. It literally says, like, verse on the side. <laughs> it's a good advertisement. I, th I thought it was really clever because we got sent them as well. And Yeah, if you know, the first, you know. Yeah, the first thing that you open in the box, it's like, that's amazing. Like, I would yeah. never have thought just to publicly be like, yep, this is what I am, guys. I'm in a gym. Yeah. Wink. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm absolutely shocked that they sent me a bottom water bottle. And I'm just like, you know, do, do, do people not understand that I'm a... Uh, a virile dom top. I mean, <laughs> yeah. is, a, is, is that convincing anyone? Is that working at all? No. Right, okay. No. Never mind. But if it doesn't I... work on your grinder, it's not going to work here. <laughs> <laughs> I just <laughs> love um, Hunter was just saying, like, it's like, what if a... you know, you know about the water bottle, while mine just said gay. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. That's what I love. The girl just says gay. <laughs> it's just okay. Yeah, I just think that guy's great. gay. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. I forgot that there's a top water bottle, there's a verse one, there's a bottom one, and then there's just gay. I <laughs> just the gay one though. I mean, the, as we as we've just mentioned, we've been receiving their supplements as well, which is wonderful. But uh, how have you guys found them? Uh, thought of Stu and Glenn. Yeah, I got the bottom ones and the cum ones, and actually really rate both of them. Like. Mm. I quite like I've tried different bottom tablets before, but some of them are like ridiculously expensive, and you're just like, eh, no. While these ones, I've noticed the prices were decent as well, like really decent, but actually worked really well, like regulated my system. So when I came to preparing a lot faster than normal, didn't hinder my diet, which also that happens when you're not on bottom pills. 
um you know you've got to be careful what you eat to lower the carbs etc but yeah so like yeah just keeps everything going right and even the come ones again yeah more and regular it was great <laughs> <laughs> i definitely buy more <laughs> how about you Stu? yeah i had the same experience with the come ones and they they are quite easy to swallow is what I will say as well, which is quite fun <laughs> for what they are. Uh, but they look just like a standard vitamin, don't they? They look like something that you would buy if you went to like Holland and Barrett or something like that, like a regular supplement. And that just makes them a bit more appealing because sometimes when you get these things, they come in ugly wrapping. They come in like really weird colors and stuff like that. So they're a bit off-putting. Mm. These aren't. So it was just nice and they do work. I think we can all tick that box and say that those ones do work. The other ones, the the top ones, to be honest, haven't really had that much chance to test them. Um, I'll be very honest <laughs> about that one. So I'm going to say that they, that they probably do work, given that everything else does, but I've not put that one in as much. So, However, I do love the packaging. Um, I think it's really cute, and the prices, especially comparatively to other ones out there, mm. what you know, there's nothing that you can complain about really, and it's fun because they're definitely aimed at the queer community, yeah. which is always nice. What about you, Velvet? How are yours? Oh, um, mine. I have to admit, um, I have only I've only started taking them. We've had them for a while, and obviously, you know, because we very much don't want to endorse something that we don't believe in you know we were like hey we need to test these out which is why we sort of sat down not together but we basically went hey we're gonna take these we're gonna see how they work and because i've been so busy the last couple of months i just haven't had any time to do them but i'm taking all the tablets now and the come one i got the bottom ones and the come ones and the come ones definitely are working which is quite wonderful the bottom ones i haven't really seen a uh, change in yet but then i'm kind of haven't really had any time for that kind of uh, encounter so we were well, uh, I don't have any drag for the rest of this month, so we will get some of that scheduled in. <laughs> that it's sounds so formal. We'll get it scheduled in, you know. It's like Monday, <laughs> it's get in the diary. Tuesday, get... get some tips off these guys. They know how to how to do a little diary, so you know. We'll, <laughs> we'll get the diary <laughs> one. But no, but I think my favorite thing about it though is just that it's just called come. Like it's just it's yeah, no, literally it's like, just I, a packet that says come on it. And you sort of sitting there being like, I have no way to explain this to family members who come round. <laughs> no, I brought the day I got it, I uh my package room is next to my gym, so I went mm. and got my pack and went to the gym after. So I'm walking around the gym with a burst water bottle in this giant package that says come on the side <laughs> of it. And everybody's looking at me crazy. <laughs> just like what? It's a healthy diet. <laughs> <laughs> Does it not get the job done though? Because like if they're if they're intrigued by it, you can be like, oh well, actually, do you want to read of it? Like you know, draw yeah. you with this massive, massive, unsubtle packaging. Yeah, exactly. Free demonstration, awesome. Hey, who doesn't love like, come? You know? <laughs> exactly it. and then you could be like oh do you want to see it in action we'll link that up yeah. the ones. like here you go see works yeah. for everyone it's more the gummy bears where you're going to have to be a bit more careful if someone's like oh can I have a gummy no <laughs> <laughs> don't take more than two it'll blow your cock off yeah. <laughs> I, I just love that on the com things it's got a little sticker on the back of my packet of them that just says don't take more than two which suggests that there's been some kind of like you know com related incident <laughs> Incident that yeah. they're having to backtrack from. It keeps coming. I mean, <laughs> that's it. They are very good, though. We would recommend them. And the good thing about having worked with them as well is we've actually got a discount code for them. So if you look up Friend of Dorothy on Instagram or Friend of Dorothy Store on any good old search engine, use the code GIRL15, which is G U R L just like our podcast, 15. Uh, whole range of their products, I believe, so you will get 15% off. Now, moving on from that, we've noticed that you two attend a range of different Pride events, such as Alt Pride and Bear Pride. Uh, what's been your best experience with that so far? And can you tell us a bit more about the differences between them? I'll say, I think I'm kind of biased because I turned 21 in Provincetown and during Bear Week. So that was my favorite because <laughs> I probably had the best week of my life there. These events are so fun. And being someone who's, I mean, never experienced the gay community before until like pretty much now it, it feels really free to be able to do that a lot of the events are kind of similar none of them are exactly the same but mm. they're all really fun and i've met nothing but 
absolutely beautiful people at Pride and talked to so many people, networked with so many people. And these events are really just a good place to, you know, kind of set aside what's going on in your life and just be who you really want to be for at least a day. Plus, there's always some DL people there. <laughs> <laughs> we love the DL guys. Yeah, he turned 21 in Provincetown, and we're literally walking down the street in jock straps, and nobody's batting an eye at us. Which me, I'm from deep south Mississippi, so like they would have already like tried to like just off me just from walking out the house looking like that. So we we've been to a few. We did Atlanta Pride, we did World Bear in Orlando, and uh, Provincetown, which really interesting. Um, World Bear they picked us to be ambassadors for their next event. So the wow. next event we go, it's a free vacation, which is wild. Like they're actually paying us to go to this event and uh, endorse it and promote it. So we have to do like a Mean Girls, um, it's Mean Bears theme. <laughs> so we have to take wow. pictures for like the the promo that's coming up for that. That's in February, but we'll be that'll be our next big event. It's North American Bear in Kentucky for uh, World Bear Weekend next year. We actually have discount codes for anybody who's looking to go. I think it's fifteen, fifteen percent, fifteen percent. It's code Derek D E R R I C K. Amazing. Where can you buy those tickets? Uh, Eventbrite.com, and it's uh, it's North American Bear. And it's mean, mean bears. Yeah, we bought a we bought a burn book uh, off Amazon <laughs> yeah. to help promote the oh, thing. We're gonna is, make some please. videos with it. <laughs> oh my God. It's, it's now going to be the bear book, isn't it? Yeah, we should make it the bear book. People think that you can only go there if you're like open or. But really, honestly, like if you're a single person and you're not finding a partner, like this is a great place. They have something for everyone. Like they play bingo. Like there was all these games. Like it's not just centered around sex. Like these people are friendly. They're well fed. So they're not mean. <laughs> <laughs> and they also have uh, the vendor market at World Bear, so mm. there's a lot of like people from all over that are selling, you know, their their products. Like last year, I bought a couple hats and and jocks and stuff, and I bought a harness. I actually got like a really cute harness, which I wore to Atlanta Pride. I like it. If you could set up a Pride event, focus on a particular subcategory or a kink uh, that maybe doesn't get so much attention, what would it be? If it were a Pride event and I were going to throw it, I would do probably a daddy and boy event, but that's very popular and gets a lot of attention already. So yeah, I guess I'd say the eating. On the uh, subject of sort of kinks and things, uh, I have a wonderful little game for us to play. Awesome. So it is tradition on our podcast. Um, other than one episode this season, we always have a game. This episode... Would we like to do guest versus guest since we do have multiple guests? How do you guys feel about going against each other in a little test of knowledge? A little okay. around tete tete or head on head. <laughs> Wait, that yeah. does, does sound like content. It is content. Mm. Let's do it. Let's do it. Which means yeah. both of these other hosts can actually have a break. I mean, they never win anyway, so it's, you know, <laughs> yeah. at least they swear they don't have to suffer the loss. We have won. So. We have all won once. I think yeah. it's quite impressive. But over I like four seasons, that's not as impressive. But you know <laughs> It's not. It's not. So this this week's theme um obviously goes with what we've been talking about. It is sexual knowledge. What I'm gonna be doing in turns is giving you an official term for a certain preference or fetish. And you've got to try and figure out what it is. <laughs> so obviously people will know them um as just when I'm like, oh they'll say, Oh, I'm mid defeat. But could you tell me the name for it? Rather than doing it that way, because that's probably harder, I'm going to give you the answer, and you've just got to guess what it relates to. Yeah, that, that, that's easy. Yeah, there we go. Do, do you think you could guess at least a few of them, potentially? I think I could guess at least one. <laughs> you can, we can, we'll, we'll go for it. They're not, they're not particularly easy, some of them. Like, when I, when I looked them up, I was like, well, I wouldn't be able to get any of these. So. <laughs> um, there well, is there a prize in it. So, the winner, or we'll say the person who does better, because you both do get something. Um, gets a beautiful golden stupid badge, and the runner-up will get a silver version. Usually, we say the guest goes first, but you are both. So I'm gonna go with Hunter first, just because I planned it for Hunter versus Glenn. So they're in that order. Um, so Hunter, if I said to you chronophilia, what do you think that would be? Cro chronophilia? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Is that like a king for like dead people? <laughs> 
<laughs> no, no. <laughs> thankfully not. I think we're really um, old people. I think I know what it is. Actually. Oh, okay. Would you like to guess, Velvet? Just out of uh, I, I think it's uh, ass stuff. It is not. Oh. It is not. Chrono- chronophilia is the enjoyment of having a large age gap between yourself and your partner. Oh, really? I was going to say time. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's basically like daddy, daddy son vibes, effectively. They so. love that. <laughs> okay. Uh, Derek, what about thornophilia? Thornophilia? Uh, thornophilia with an F. Thornophilia. Oh, wow. Um, you like having uh, sex with only foreign people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> it's not the worst guess I've ever heard on this podcast by far. Um, no, Fornophilia for is turning into human furniture. Wow. <laughs> Which hold might on, be hold one on. Of this might need more explanation than we're giving it here. <laughs> you know when people pretend to be like tables or lamps and stuff and they just like. I've heard no, of that. No, I haven't heard of this, Stu. Okay. Google, Google the majority be of my these sexy things, tables, Stu. Come on. They do. They watch watch some documentaries. It is a thing. Um, I remember seeing a woman who liked to pretend to be a lamp or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or a chandelier. Yeah. There's, a, there's a woman who, who um, she got strung up like a chandelier and she just was there for hours and that was a thing for her. So, <laughs> that, that, I think, fair play one. to them. That's cool like, that they can yeah. like get yeah. off that way, you know? <laughs> Like, I don't want to know where they put the bulb. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if it lights up is the question. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. That's powerful. Um, okay, Hunter, what about galactophilia? Is that like wanting to have sex in space? No, but it sounds like it should it be. That, like that, that would have been a better use of this. Um, this one is breastfeeding and sucking on a titty. Wow. That's the official term. Oh, yes. galact, black, Yeah, black. like, like mm. galactating, I guess. Oh, no, I was thinking galactic. Yeah. Insert- yeah. You were thinking but, nerdy space shit, which, well, which to be honest, I, I think is more fun. Can't we compromise? Yeah, right? Can't we compromise what and is- say that it's like lactating in space? Like it's space a really milk. specific fetish. Space milk. Yeah. Space yeah. milk. There we'll we go. go with that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Derek, what about mesophilia? Jar Jar Binks. That's why you're only sexually attracted <laughs> to Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> that's, a, that's very specific. <laughs> They like miso soup, miso soup, because it makes me so horny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, again, that's better than the actual answer. <laughs> oh dear, that is uh, that one's for dirty and soiled items. Wow, <laughs> which makes me wish it was the soup answer instead. I think. Yeah. yeah, I can't eat yeah. soup. <laughs> okay, um, Hunter, I, I don't know if I can pronounce this one properly, but. Uh, I think it's Odax elega- Elegania? Eleganza. Odax Eleganza. Elega- we'll go with Eleganza. Yeah, Eleganza. Um, yeah I think it's Odax, Eleg- Odax Elegnia. Odax Elegnia? <laughs> Words. I should really have tried to pronounce this before writing it down. <laughs> I don't think I've ever this one, heard that word. This, I've, I've never. This one's a fairly common one. If you want a clue, it's not like totally out there. Oh yeah, is it um like wanting to be like strangled or choked? Nope, but it's biting, so it's oh, it's, it's, a, it's it's a fairly time. rare one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah. I bite Derek all the time. I like chew on it, his hand. <laughs> well, you're an an a Daxlagania person. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't I know what like, you would call the individual. I thought you were saying like Terrible. Russian, like gross Vidania or something. You know, I know, right? Like, I thought it was like, oh, you get turned on by being said goodbye to. I don't know. I don't even know if that's the hardest one of these to pronounce, but <laughs> I've gave myself a right task this episode. Okay, Derek, what about hordophilia? Hordophilia? Hordophilia, so like P O D O. Hordo. It's not Teletubby related, is it? Is it is not Teletubby. Mm. It's not a specific title. Um, well, it's. Photophilia, is that to do with like feet, maybe? It is correct. That is the feet nice. one. Play. I, I wasn't sure we were going to get any of these correct, but that is the feet. You so you have a lot of those in your DMs, so you can always hit them back up with a yo portophile. <laughs> yo <laughs> be, very yo <laughs> be very careful. Maybe after they've paid. Yeah, I was about to say, not to be confused with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be careful with spell check. Very careful oh, with spell check on that one. <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, code <laughs> file. I, I, that is, that is <laughs> you know that's why people don't use the term, isn't it? Because it's very, very close. <laughs> now I know very I'm close. Oh, uh, well, I, was, I was so sad when I aged out of Catholic school. The priests don't even whistle at me. <laughs> I can't get a text back at all. Damn it. Yeah, right. As soon as you hit the teenage years, they don't want to know. Disgusting. <laughs> that one's not on this question list, by the way. <laughs> um, excellent. Okay, Hunter, what about um, pigophilia? Pygophilia? Pygophilia. We'll go with pygophilia. It's a Y. You definitely are into this one. Mm. I think everyone in this podcast is into this one. Like big wieners? <laughs> <laughs> that, okay, that answer that is was both wrong and informative. <laughs> Yeah, both of those. Uh, this is quite simply just ass. Oh, okay. Oh, like really? ass. If I'm sure that's just called being human, to be honest. But you know. <laughs> okay, um, there are three more of these. Derek, somnophilia. Oh my God, that's got to be like that guy that wants people to be asleep or correct. Get... Hey, correct. Hey, well so done. You, you you have met a somnophile. They have paid you to. <laughs> yes, do yeah things online excellent they they're they're quite specific so you will get a lot of money out of those so <laughs> that's what it's Hunter, your last one is stigmatophilia it's not like a <laughs> fetish of having stigmas yeah no it's tattoos and piercings really oh wow mm-hmm. okay. well jesus I... had piercings in his hands and that movie stigmata <laughs> like it appears yeah. oh, man, that, they, um... they were really extreme piercings though you know yeah, which, that's yeah. It. <laughs> a... he really went all out on that one <laughs> I like I like that Derek can logicalize almost all of these, but like actually no, that makes sense because of this. Like me just reading them, I'm like, yeah, sure. I, I think that's it. it. It's that sort of relative knowledge of Latin a little bit and being like, oh, okay, cool. Well, in nursing <laughs> school, we had a whole, like course where we had to study um like prefixes of words. So like they were they would just quiz us like randomly. Like you had to be able to tell what the word was meant by just by giving you like three letters of it so nursing school is ridiculous so that that really honestly is where a lot of that comes from <laughs> that's great you you well for this quiz it's, so it's it's get it's gonna get you a gold badge i have a feeling but yes <laughs> final question <Look>. though <laughs> yeah your last one Derek. then is uh urolagnia what is it urolagnia Eurolagnia. Uralagnia. Um, probably like seeing how long you can last without going to pee. Part of that is kind of correct. I was going to say, I think it's just just pee, isn't it? Yeah, it's just the the pee and water sports one. Um, (laughs) That would be specifically to see how long you can like laugh without doing it. It's a very specific one. That will probably get you a lot of money as well, though. Yeah, um, who 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 might have won there, Phil? Following those lovely questions here, we have an astonishing Derek in the lead with two points, and Hunter with um with less than that. (laughs) <laughs> so, yeah, he tried his best. No, well done, but everybody Derek. got an education. That's what's important. Everyone now knows some terms <laughs> that will never be used again. Eurolagnophiles. Eurolagnophiles. Uh, everyone knows not to use the correct term for feet, just in case they say the wrong thing, though. So that's, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. uh, we do have a tiebreaker if everyone wants to do it. I guess you can all do it just for a laugh. Mm. Um, you'll, probably, you'll probably all get the answer correct at the same time, though. Um, this week's was just in 2022. What was the most commonly searched for fetish? Probably some insects. Probably what? 2020. Probably some insects. Any other guesses? Femboys. So we've got incest femboys, Glenn. Mm, I might go FTM. Okay. Mm. Velvet. I I kind of want to go towards femboys as well, but then it's weird if the it avoid if that is right then we've ruined the point of a tiebreaker so um i'm gonna go with go with um, something else I, i'm gonna go with um what is it uh inserting chinchillas <laughs> I tell me the latin that. name for that stupid. i would give me 10 minutes i'll find it uh, no, it's the very, very obvious one that's probably every year, and it's just feet. Feet. There are a lot of feet. Of, feet. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Right. This is why you get so many requests for it. It's apparently very yeah. different. See, I, the thing is, that was very different to the tiebreakers you usually have. I was fully expecting you to be like, how many people last year searched for feet online to the to the nearest billion? <laughs> and my phone doesn't have that many numbers to type. That's it. I think Stu oh, struggled that. to read the words enough. We didn't need to get him to read a number like no. that. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> no, definitely not. The words were enough. Oh, well, that was good. I, I feel like that people are going to be educated now. Uh, well done, Derek. You 
you you did seamlessly win that one. My mom said I would never amount to anything. Look at me now. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Who's got a gold stew Peter badge now, mother? <laughs> what more could you want? That's it. That's the height of, uh, the height of life. <laughs> That's it. I've peaked. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm afraid it has been a very fun discussion, but thank you so much, uh, Derek and Hunter, for being on. Is there anything that you'd like to promote before you leave? Like, can you remind us what your OnlyFans is? Mine is was a bear hunt or bear hunter 411 mine is a care bear cub so but you guys can find our twitter bear yeah, for real eight if y'all, don't, if y'all don't have the the coins for the subscription we do offer the, the spicy twitter content just please retweet <laughs> yeah <laughs> now okay uh anything that you want to promote Stu? um i would just put a casual reminder as per this episode's theme of friend of dorothy uh you can go to either the instagram page at friend of dorothy or friend of Dorothy store if you google it and type in G U R L 15 for 15 percent off. Amazing and Jim Bunny Glenn. Um no, I don't think I have anything for this one. It's all been yeah. said. <laughs> it's all been said. Drag, drag con. Mm, drag oh yeah, well well I didn't know if that would be applicable, you know, with talk and porn, not drag queens. RuPaul's Drag Con is coming to the UK on the 13th to the 14th of January we are planning to attend uh, so if you want to meet your favourite drag queens and buy some fabulous merch to continue to support these entertainers make sure you get yourself down to the XL Centre in London on the 13th and 14th of January. And of course, myself, you can find at thevelvetsnatch.com when once in a blue moon I might update it, but don't get your hopes up. And of course, my Instagram, The Velvet Snatch. Thank you so much, dear listener, for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next episode of Girl. Right, three, two, one. I'm, I'm a, a friend, friend of Dorothy. 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 Ooh, 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 ooh.